Hi, Sai. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Okay, so uh, Sai, you know the purpose of this meeting, and both you and me, we will try to give the information about IIT Mandi about MA in Development Studies. And you know that uh, there is uh, no much information about this program in YouTube. OK, so so our main objective is that to provide information for the future aspirants. OK, who will appear in future for the interview purpose and they will get many more information from uh, this uh, interaction. OK, so before the discussion, so I just I want to uh, get uh, a brief introduction from you. So. Uh, can you could you please uh, give a brief introduction about your yourself so that my viewers, my uh, students, they will get some idea about you. OK. Yeah, sure. My name is Shahi Gulshana Ahmed and uh, I have done my uh, BA in English honors and, uh, and continually I followed MA in English literature. And uh, after that, <clears throat> as for the real experience i opt for public administration um, is still pursuing that and uh, literally as uh, uh, development studies is an interdisciplinary course so i am very interested for this course okay right so yes uh sai, uh, sai just uh, just tell me one more uh, information that where are you from i'm from assam Assam, Assam, uh, which part of the Assam and what is the exact place? Uh, actually, I'm from Assam in Kokrajhar district. There's a district okay, in right. Kokrajhar. It's a okay. under BTAD. OK, thank you. OK, so my next qu question is that you appeared uh, for the uh, interview. OK, for MN development studies at IIT Mandi, right? So my question yeah. is to you that uh, what was the overall admission process of IIT Mandi? Uh, in 2023. Uh, the overall process is uh, very good and uh, I'm very sure that uh, IIT Mandi is something else like I applied for uh, IIT Hyderabad or IIT Guwahati. The thing is that there is a, some issues in application process means you have you should uh, upload all the documents all the experience certificate like that but IIT Mandi is something different means it is very flexible you can apply easily. Right. Right. So that's thing I I very appreciate for that. Right. So uh, that you know that uh, in the admission process uh, there were, were different phases. You know. So what were uh, were those phases? The first thing, first step is you need to apply, right. and the second thing is that after getting shortlisted, you you got an email. And uh, then they are explaining a overall process, means the 60% weightage of uh, written test and the 40% yeah. of uh, interview like that. And they give you the overall overview of the interdisciplinary course of development studies. And, right. uh, <clears throat> and other information I got in the website, means IIT Mandi website. OK, so that is fine. That is fine. Totally, uh, definitely, so there are many information regarding the application process and student will get the information. But uh, I want to know more about the written test part. OK, so could you yeah. please say something about the written part because you got uh, shortlisted for the written test and then interview. OK, so I want to get more insights uh, from you about the written test. What was the pattern? So after being what type of, yes. Go on, please go on. Yes, sir. So after being uh, selected and shortlisted in IIT Mandi, uh, they give us uh, two or three days before uh, the link, uh, how the in mm. interview means the written test will be conducted. It was in virtual yes. form. So they yes. are telling like this way. So <clears throat> I got it and this the format is very good and they are very familiar with us. Means that it is written. So right. they are very familiar with us and uh, what I observed there is not one person. There's a multiple teachers are there. Right. In, uh, in, in front of camera. OK. So that is so, fine, but uh, uh, yes, just uh, could you please tell me uh, what were the questions? Uh, what type of question they gave you uh, for uh, for the during during the written test? So the written test it can be divided into two parts. That is subjective and objective parts. The objective part right. is literally like uh, they are asking about the political issues in the economical issues. 
some something like development like i i uh, perfectly can't recall those things i'm unable to but the right. thing is that something like that and uh, okay. subjective part is like uh, there is a five questions you need to write three questions um, what i remember earlier there was uh, one question from indian constitution and uh, <clears throat> the one question from social media and the other question is what is a smart city like that and okay. uh, one question is like um, how uh, social media affected in the particular decision making like yes, got it so yes one more uh, how many uh, question uh, they asked in the uh, subjective part uh, sorry objective part okay you have mentioned about oh. the subjective part but i want to know how many question they uh, gave you uh, for the uh, for the objective part i currently um, unable to recall it but it is like 20 questions be there okay yes and yes. Uh, i was in hurry and uh, there is a one thing i want to mention it the thing is that the pages was something like uh, you need to find the negative version not the positive one so yes. that is like something uh, yeah the pages is very short the comprehension part i'm telling about Hmm. But the thing is that it was completely means you need to find what it's not telling about. Okay, fine. Something yes. different. Yes, got it. So uh, yes, now uh, I want to know more about the interview part. So what type of question they asked in the interview session? So after after written test, they hmm. are uh, shortlisted for the interview, and my interview was nineteenth May, mm, hmm. and. Uh, it was like from 9 a.m. I started so that <clears throat> my number, I think uh, 19th like that. So it was like 1130 some uh, somehow 1130 around. Mm. Then I open up and uh, that that was a very familiar environment. I thought that it was very strict. Everyone focusing at me like that, but that uh, it's not totally like that. Um, there is a ma'am. <clears throat> and uh, another one there teacher mm -hmm. they are very familiar with me they're just uh, they politely talk about me first they tell me that you need to give your brief inter introduction so mm -hmm. i gave it then uh, they are telling you are from as you are from ma in english literature so how it will help in your development studies mm -hmm. so nice. this type of question they ask Achoo. and then they ask about <clears throat> means uh, I, I I remember I remember that from this question they gave some idea about the next question means I uh, I said that uh, in being in English literature uh, in MA so I am not getting some practical experience and uh, I am from the rural background means the rural area so when I uh, means I discuss about those things I explain it so they are asking me about that how you can help them how you can your IIT means IIT degree uh, being in IIT. So how it will help in your rural area means how you right. can. So, so like, mainly side just mainly just I want to mention that they asked you the follow up question. Whatever you were saying during your interview session. Yeah. So on the basis of your answer. So they were uh, they actually asked the follow up question, right? Are you saying that? Yeah, I'm telling about this. Yes, so my uh, next question is like uh, what what were those uh, follow up question if you uh, recall? So please uh, tell my viewers and my students. Yeah, and then uh, they are telling I after the second question, they said like uh, I, I mentioned something that I want. I don't want to develop something like from the top of mind, but up from the bottom. So there we very inspired about this part i think i don't know so ma'am is very friendly about that and she is very interested means uh, how you will means uh, do that that way and okay, uh, after development study means uh, next question after that they mm -hmm. asked me about uh, the development studies how it will help in your means uh, research paper or next journey right okay yeah. okay okay so any 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 more uh, question uh, if you can remember if, if you if you recall so you can tell us otherwise uh, 
I want to uh, I want to uh, I'm going to ask you one more question that is how was your overall experience about the uh, like about the interview? Yeah, the last question I can uh, I can recall it like uh, they are asking about the relation between the English literature and uh, the development studies. Like how, how you will implement that? Like, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. how overall it will it will work for the next study part? Means what is your uh, means perspective? What is your goal like? Mm -hmm. This type goal oriented question. So okay. I was inspired about that. And the overall interview was good. And the teachers are very friendly with me, very friendly. I thought that they are very strict, like in the IITs. I feel like that, but they are very friendly with me and they ask me as a casual way. Okay, got it. So they were friendly and they asked you the question uh, in a way like they they actually uh, they actually uh, made you comfortable, I think. Okay. That is the first thing. So you know, what I have seen in all top IITs, old IITs. So all the professors are very experienced. OK, so they they will make you comfortable uh, during uh, the starting of that interview and then they will ask you uh, some basic questions and the, on the basis of the answer of your answer, they will ask the follow up questions. I think uh, that actually happened with you during your interview at IIT Monday. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, OK, and okay. my questions, every question is like uh, related to the sociology and I focus in the ethical part. Like OK, and uh, social issues, developments. I okay. always try to say something like uh, like what we have studied in like uh, preparation, like uh, economics, polity, but I'm not going to include that. I just uh, included the social part, development parts, how this will be help means like OK. Got it. So anyway, so uh, Sai, thank you for this uh, interview and for this interaction. I think uh, students will get the sense what type of question they um, they can ask uh, for their interview in future. So I think uh, my students, my viewers uh, will get many more insights from this interaction. And thanks a lot, Sai. Uh, just thank you, sir. Uh, okay.